Carlos. I'm a student at Jones Technical Institute. Uh, today we're going to be going over a we're going to be doing a bench test on a starter. Things we got going on here. We got uh, some jumper cables. We got ourselves some test leads, and we've got the starter that we pulled out of this uh, Peterbilt over here. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our connection. We're going to use our jumper cables here. Connect our hot side to the solenoid up here. Negative to our starter motor. Making sure we're clamping that, that wire there. Okay, and we're gonna go over to our battery here. Same thing, positive to our red post, negative to our negative post. All right. Next thing we're gonna be using is our test leads here. Okay, so we're gonna be taking one of these alligator clips and we're gonna be clamping it over to our uh, positive power cable here. And we're gonna be taking the other side of the alligator clip and we're gonna be connecting down here to this connector. Uh, this connector down here is gonna be sending our signal to our solenoid, kicking it out and um, uh, throwing the bearing out for our starter motor to get everything going. Okay, so here we go. Right. Alligator clip. Put that guy right there. Okay. Now, this is the final step before it goes live. You want to make sure you're going to hold on to it because sometimes they'll jump around, especially if you don't even know what's what's about to happen. Um, so just be prepared for it. As soon as you touch this cable to it, you're sending all those volts, you're sending all that voltage straight to it. So. Okay, so what we were listening to for there was a smooth sounding operation of the starter, okay? We don't want no jerking in it, we don't want it to be clunking around, we don't want that bearing bad in there, no excessive noise. That was a real smooth, low hum to it, the starter's good to go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and disconnect everything just in reverse of as we hooked it up before, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and install this bad boy back into the speeder building and get her back on the road. Thanks for watching, guys.